Ladies and gents, welcome back to Persepa Madora United, or Utama, I'm gonna screw that up because of that stupid logo that's in my face. Anyway, we are heading into the last game of the season, and I basically, I decided I'm gonna bring you this one simply because A, it's the last game, B, we can maybe see what's after, I because right now, if you look at the schedule, I have no idea what's after this Persepa game. Uh, so we're gonna have to see. Beginning to hear Madora FC, 3,000 people showed up. 185 for our Perserang game. The board are actually, and fans are pissed that we lost this entire tie, but 185 of you showed up. Maybe that's why. This is not a fortress we'd like. Uh, but anyway, Madura FC 3 1. Panjaitan got a double, and Usman got another one. PSGC. Uh, 2 0 win. Usman and Bongo. Bongo Bongo getting the goals. So we are heading into our last match of the season. We do have a couple of transfers to note. On the ins, Dickie Fer Ferasat is basically with Gumalong out, we kind of needed another striker. Uh, he looked meh, okay, but you know, star wise is basically what I went off on this. He hasn't really played much. He's probably not going to be playing much today, if at all. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, and then Chris Wontoro came in. He was, he's got a couple of good, I mean, his physicals are good. First touch is good, decision's good, but that, you know, it's another okay. Uh, he was kind of an average rating and a current ability is what we needed. He can play a lot of different roles, which is terrific. I do have to say that. So central midfield, uh, Carolero, Mazala, so not too bad. But we do have a couple of outs. So Ferris Aritama went out for 5,000. Uh, he, you know, as that attacking midfield center role, we just don't have room for. And Siswanto went out as well for 7,000. Um, apparently, he's actually been doing fairly well at 685. So, so he went out. I, but again, both of them are attacking mid centers. I just didn't have a need for them. And um, Aminala uh, for 1,000. A DM. I probably could have kept him. He's actually 695. Well, 694. But that includes mostly our matches as well. So, but I mean, he was not highly rated by our scouts. I didn't. He was good. He was average, I guess. Uh, but those are our transfers. Nothing too exceptional. Transfer deadline day did pass, and that's who we brought in. So basically, when I sold Aditama, a couple of our midfielders came together and said, "Dude, why are you selling? You know, our midfield. We we don't have a good midfield squad." I would disagree. I think we've got a couple of, you know, we got some hot prospects that can come up. Ramadan has been doing fairly well. We have, you know, a couple of midfield. We got Fadli, who is doing fantastic. And, but they still said, you know, you need to strengthen in this or we're going to revolt. So that is why we picked up Chris Juan Toro, um, basically to, to appease the rest of the midfield group. Let's see. Are they happy? Yep. They seem to be happy. But so that does it. Today is our last match of the season. Perceval, uh, we are comfortably, you know, we sit comfortably in first over Madura FC. And there's no way we're going to miss out on first place in this. So we'll see how it goes. So let's get to this match and let's figure out who our squad's going to be. Uh, we are strong. We are odds for favorite. They are, they lie in, I don't want that. They are in seventh position right now. So is that dead last? Yes, it is dead last. They have not won all season. They've got three points. Kind of sad. So let me let me figure out the squad and I'll be right back. So we are back. Uh, basically, I, I've been trying to play with the teams, which is why you saw some random people in these squads. I mean, in these in the squad, you saw Pratama is kind of back from injury, returning to fill fitness imminently, but he's still not there yet. So uh, I was just kind of doing a quick pick and seeing what was going on before I started recording this. Gumalong, you can see, is back. He is back in action. He's played in the last match. Go to the schedule. So he did play here. 6-7. Uh, did not... He, he came close a couple of times on the score sheet, but unfortunately it did not work. So we are going to try him again and see how he does. So this is our team. Bakhtiar gets in goal for this one. Ritonga, Juliandri, Rifon, and Zakaria in the back four. Ulum, Bango, Christian, Suharlan in the midfield, and Gumalang and Usman up top. Uh, we do have a couple of people who are in the midst of signing contracts. So we'll see. Gumalang is one. 
Refon. Refon. Let's see. Offer a new contract. I'm not currently interested in entering into contract discussions with your club. I'm currently unhappy at the club. Douchebag. Let's see. But if you see, where's Refon? His morale is happy. It's really good. What a dick. So I I shouldn't play him right now, but I will. What the hell? Okay, so they are playing a 4-5-1. So we are at home. Why are we paused? Oh, because of this. There why is there nobody back here? That's weird. Oh, what a shot. Al Hadar. But what the hell was that? Standard. How did he even get that? Okay, so we are down 1-0. So far, not all that great. So let's keep the possession refund. Up to Usman. Uh, that's a penalty somehow. I would like to see why that was a penalty, but I'll take it. So Usman steps up to the spot. Oh, just underneath. Nice job. Tying it up. Eighth goal of the season. So just slots it under his right arm. So Gumalong has seemingly been a little bit misplaced in this game. But let's see. Ratonga up to Gumalong. Am I going to talk shit again? Nice. I would have said pass it to uh, Usman, but hey. A, it's a goal. I'm not going to badmouth that. So Rotonga just blasts it forward. Gumalong breaks away from his defender. See, Usman could have pulled into here and gotten the sweaty goal, but Gumalong still makes it. I don't know what he's doing. But, 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 but. And there's a highlight immediately following. This is a little bit unnerving okay guys seventh in the league blasted forward to Gumalong again bang right in the back of the freaking net 35 minutes in we're leading 3-1 there we go so Harlan up to Usman who assists his boy Gumalong right in there and just he I don't even know how he hits it over the keeper or was it through the keeper's legs, just up? I don't even know. So Ulum, nobody. Gumalong is just saying, you know, dude, I've had enough for right now. Let's just get to halftime. I don't want my legs to be dead. And Usman, though, is saying, I want the ball. Oh my god, that was terrific! Oh, it was offsides, I'm guessing. Oh, that would have been beautiful. Gumlong up to Bongo. Oh, over the net. That would have been a fantastic goal, though. Usman to Gumlong to Usman. So there we go with the steal. Rutonga. Gumlong's like, okay, fine. I'll do it again. <laughs> Goalkeeper is just so far out of position. It's halftime now. Might as well just end it. Refund with the with the steal. Bongo up over to Refund. Uh, no, blah, 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 over to Ritonga, who just boots it up to Gumalong. And that was a right-footed shot into the left side of the net. As you can tell, most of the time, I have no idea what I'm talking about. It's kind of one of the reasons why I started a YouTube channel is more for my own growth. Dimas Gali Gumalong at a 9.5 with a hat trick already. I forgot he was on a hat trick. Um, but basically, I am not very good at conversating. I'm not very good at commentating, as you can tell. So, Rotonga with the throw in. Gumalong, who is seemed seemingly a little injured. Bongo up to Chris Juan. Usman. Gumalong. Oh! Augustin? Augustin? I think you might need to... Yeah, you're going to be relegated, and I can see why. So, but Bongo, Chris Juwan, up to Usman, who's completely open to slow, and just giving it to Gumalong, and who smacks it off the keeper's hands into the net. Uh, so, but at 74%, how's he doing? 9.8. So, we do have Chris Juan Toro coming in for uh, Bongo, just to 
because he's a little tired. Get off and get some rest. Christian actually looks tired. So I might bring him off soon. Oh, don't start the stuttering now. Uh, and then Panjitan is coming in for the four goal Gumalong, simply because I don't need him more injured than I he already is. So, and then up to Usman, who does have apparently some speedy legs. Oh, and Usman gets his goal 6-1. I, I got nothing. This is fantastic. This is freaking fantastic. So, 87 minutes in. Suharlan boots it up to Usman. And I think their defenders are like, you know, screw it. We're not coming back from this. We're not even going to be saved from relegation. Just might as well let them get their goals. We have two minutes. Less than a minute. Bakhtiar boots it up. Ah. Yeah, they can't even get passes on target. Let alone shots. So, Giuliandri. Okay, we're just playing basically tag right now. So, Bak... What on earth was that? That was almost severe mismanagement of the ball. But Mahendra... Nice. Final! No surprise, Paris Mob won the match in comfortable fashion. The five-goal winning margin proving the difference in class as they enjoyed over Percival today. Um, 17 shots, 7 on target. 49% possession, though. Not terrific. Uh, six clear-cut chances to their zero. 8.49, 6.24. I think we can see who the better team was. I don't know why I've got that. So, dressing room. I'm not doing that. I'm doing a very happy to win. Let's leave the match. And that does it for the season. Ladies and gents. Schedule. Ooh. League 2 second phase. What is this? Uh, so, Suharlan is injured for 2-3 to three days. I'm not too worried. Gold Glut. Goomlong injured for 2-3 to three days. Okay, he can rest. Chris Wontoro makes his debut. They're excited to see his man for the first time. Okay, well, classy Goomlong stellar for uh, Pratamor. Okay. Okay, so we seem to be doing very well. Goomalong is only injured for two to three days, but fantastic result. I gotta praise him. You're superb. I appreciate that. Thanks. I'll continue to work and hard and impress you. Uh, Pratama is back from injury, so he is back uh, training, or he's resuming full training. So actually, before I get into this next level, 21st, so we have a couple of weeks before we figure out what this is. So let us see. League 2 second phase draw. Let's do the draw, I guess. Let's get to the draw. Can we get to the draw? Okay, there we go. There's the draw. View draw. So the draw for the Indonesian League 2 second phase is made today. Parasapalm are one of eight teams that have been seated first for the draw. So let me see. Let's see. First phase, all groups. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So there's eight teams, I'm guessing it's all the first, all the winners from each group. Wow. Kepri Jaya and Siligon, Kiligon United. Shragan did not make it, and Persibat, Persiba Bantul, sorry, 19. So they do get relegated. Uh, those were our two teams. Sorry guys, I could not help you, but I did bring Persipam Madura Utama. Okay, so let's shut up. So, Parasapam are in Group D with Mojo Kertoputra and Persakad. Oh, Martapura. How did they get in? I'm confused. So, they came in second in our group. Is there a third phase? Is this just the top two teams? Siligan United, Sumbawa Barat, um, Siligan United, Sumbara. So it must be the top two teams of, you know, A through D and then E through H, maybe? So let's see. So Indonesian League 2 phase groups drawn. So we've got Mojokerto Putra, Persikad, Sumbawa Barat, 
Uh, have been handed a relatively straightforward group, okay, but we'll have to strive to contend with the threat of Mojokerto Mojo Putra. Um, they will have to watch out for Gumalong, of course, who's lead goal scorer in the League 2 this season. Holders are Silicap. Uh, okay, so we've got a goalkeeper coach. Bratama signs his new contract. Faisal is a fitness coach. Um, Gumalong signs a pre-contract. Looks like we're doing fairly well. I do got. I have to figure out all the contracts that are expiring. The assistant manager is the only one of the staff that I haven't. Uh, I haven't continued with. I'm kind of thinking I might want to try and find a new one since I don't like this dude. So Muhammad Siafi. So I got to figure out someone a little bit better at man management and all that. So. We shall see um, what's going next. So let's look at the schedule. So Sumbara Bar Bawa Barat is, is our next match on the 23rd. So we have 20 days. And then what, two weeks later is Persakad and then another week after that is Mojokerto Putra. And then I guess we will see what happens there. So I may bring you this match, the Mojokerto game, um, or I may just get to, you know, finish these, see how we do, let you know how we do, and then see what's next. So anyway, great game today. We've got a couple of fantastic results on this on this channel so far. So thank you so much for watching. Take care, and we'll see you next time. Uh, ooh, uh, what's his name? What is his freaking name?